student let us see what is there in this question two pure samples of radioactive nucleides x and y have same initial number of atoms the half life of x is t half after a time equal to four half lives of x the ratio of number of atom x and number of y is one by eight what is the half life of y again a very confusing question no doubt about that and be very careful so there is one formula that i have given to you but that is not present in neither in your books nor it is present in the data booklet so i'm going to repeat that formula here n is equal n by n naught is equal to half raised to power number of half lives like four half lives of x have been passed but instead of this we can also write it as t divided by t half one is the same thing isn't it now this is the general formula that uh, is again not given anywhere so you need to remember this and we need to use this formula here uh, for number of atoms of x and number of atoms of y so let us first apply this uh, on x so for x we are going to find the number of atoms of x remaining okay so this is equal to n naught half and uh, for this half life four half lives have been gone so this is for x but what what about for y like for y n is equal to n naught because you have started with the same number of uh, nuclei it is written here same initial number of atoms so n naught will be having the same value here i can write x here i can write y but n naught will be the same into half raised to the power now for this i'm going to use t divided by t half because the t is given in the terms of half life of x and this t half belongs to the half life of y so they are not the same so i would be plugging this value here so it can be written as 4 t half of x divided by t half of y clear i'm using this formula so because this is for the y so this t half will be t half for y but the total time that has been spent it is given only in the terms of half life of x so i have just substituted it somehow like this now we are going to see this what is the half life of y and yeah we are going to find this so this is it and we are now going to substitute our values here so nx divided by ny is equal to 1 by 8 so be very careful while we are substituting these values because otherwise things are really going to be uh, algebraically they are going to become difficult it is 4 t half divided by i'm just writing it as capital t y because i i don't want to mess up with like half x and all that so this is t half and this is t y t y is what we want to find this is equal to 1 by 8 n not and n not gets cancelled out this is going to become 4 into 4 16 so 16 is going to be multiplied uh, on the numerator and this is going to be reciprocal so 2 raised to power 4 t half divided by t y this is equal to this 16 is going to the other side please try to do this algebra by yourself I know that uh, I'm doing it in a faster manner. Try to do it by yourself. This is coming out to be equal to 2. So this is 2 raised to power 1. How to solve this now? So I say that 2 raised to power this is equal to 2 raised to power 1. It means that the exponent is equal to 1. From here, I can say 4 times t half of x divided by t half of y. This is equal to 1. Clearly, the t half for y will be 4 times t half for x and d is the option that is given here you got it half life of y is equal to 4 times the half life of x my dear students be very careful about the symbols that i am going to use here x y subscripts and all those they are a bit confusing moreover the formula is new for you i know that is why the question i i, I rate it as one of the very difficult question so you have to do it again and again, like nearly three or four times, then things will fall in place. So this is how we do it. And the answer is D. Let us check from the mark scheme if the answer given is D or not. Uh, yes, the answer given is D. So this is how we do this question.
So thanks for joining the YouTube channel, uh, this video. Please uh, share the video with all your friends and subscribe to the YouTube channel. All the best. Bye.